Postpartum haemorrhage is one of the leading causes of maternal mortality. Helping improve the lives of mothers and their babies, clinical innovations have developed the critical EBB device, allowing for rapid deployment and effective treatment that's helping save lives throughout the world. The second time that ER nurse Kate Royal became pregnant, she was thrilled to learn it was twins. It was a pretty dramatic pregnancy. Around 16 weeks, I was put on modified bed rest. Kate was able to carry the twins until 36 weeks and deliver them vaginally. But a few minutes after the birth, things took a turn for the worse. My doctor said, OK, I need y'all to focus on me and what's going on here. Um, you've." I can't get your bleeding to stop, and um, and about then, around then, I started um, vomiting and passing out, and I could definitely tell that things were not going well. Um, I felt like the life was leaving me um, as I lost a lot of blood. It was a horrible, horrible feeling. Her doctor tried to stop the hemorrhage, but the first device failed. The medical team then deployed the EBB complete tamponade system, which worked. And I was um, in and out of consciousness again. And I remember waking up and her saying, me, me asking her, am I going to be OK? And she said, yes, thanks to the EBB balloon. This is the EBB balloon. And um, one of the things I lo love about it is that when you take it out of the package, it all comes together. It's all right here. You don't need any additional, uh, any additional pieces. Um, this, is the, this is the balloon uh, right here that fits inside the uterus. Now, when you start taking care of a patient, you really don't know how much fluid you're going to need. The nice thing about this balloon is it will fit any size uterus, and it molds to the contour of the uterus because it's pliable. Maternal fetal medicine specialist Dr. Sean Esplin says the EBB complete tamponade system is a key part of recent advances in treatment of postpartum hemorrhage that are saving women's lives. I think that our ability to prevent uh, maternal mortality or maternal death has really improved. And, and I think it's a combination of, of re recognizing that this is a team uh, teamwork uh, situation and practicing and drilling. I think it's a combination of um, really m letting uh, caregivers um, know that that's something that's important to be watching for, to be vigilant. And then the medications and the new devices that we have available to us, I think, are making it so that we're much more effective when we treat this. When a patient is experiencing postpartum hemorrhage, every second counts. The EBB system offers a solution that clinicians say is easy to use and that has been proven to stop or decrease the bleeding quickly. Massive postpartum hemorrhage generally happens in the first 24 hours after birth, a time that's intense and emotional for the mother and her family, and during which the mother is in a very specific physiological state. Mother Nature protects the woman from getting lightheaded, from passing out, until she loses up to a third of her blood volume from bleeding. So that means her vital signs will not change. Her, her, she'll be talking to the baby, she'll be breastfeeding. There is no transition like you see in non-pregnant uh, people. Labor and delivery nurse Carol Harvey says a postpartum mother's often delayed reactions to hemorrhage mean that by the time it's diagnosed, she may have advanced to the second, more serious stage of bleeding. And she says that the key words in treatment then become time and teamwork. The ability to intervene on a complication, my time interval or my window becomes much smaller. So we look at a guidelines as collaborative guidelines that are made collaboratively based on evidence, based on good science that we know uh, looking at um, data to show us that this improves outcomes. It saves patients' lives. It reduces the time. And we have to practice that. And that gets us into simulation um, where it just is now a part of our of nature of being a nurse, being a physician. The EBB Complete Tamponade System is made by Clinical Innovations and the device is helping reduce hemorrhage mortality, a shared goal with initiatives such as Awan's Postpartum Hemorrhage Project. This is our first life-saving product, and for Clinical Innovations, we're a team of 160 people dedicated to mother, to baby, for life. Uh, so this is a very meaningful product for us because it's actually one that can save a mother's life in a very traumatic situation. CEO Ken Reale says that with the EBB and with all of its devices, 
Clinical Innovations believes that training medical teams is equally as important as providing the best quality, most advanced products. From Kiwi to now Ebb, we are dedicated to ensuring that healthcare providers know how to appropriately use our devices. Uh, we have a special trainer uh, called an Ebb trainer that we use that we're going to put into nurses' lounges so they can readily train on Ebb at breaks or when they have time. So when the time comes to use the device, which is going to be an emergent situation, they feel very comfortable to quickly using it and using it appropriately, whether that be the physician or the nurse in this case. I remember specifically with my fourth um, that there was a nurse. I was a bit very scared when um, I knew it was happening again. And she held my hand and started praying in my ear. And I know when I was fading in and out and feeling lots of things going on, she was right there and very much felt uh, not alone. The first time it had happened, I was scared to death and felt very alone. And with that nurse holding my hand, it made all the difference in the world. Clinical Innovations is dedicated to improving the health and safety of mothers and their babies. And they're achieving this by partnering with clinicians to find the best products for the right procedures. In Salt Lake City, I'm Mary McCarthy.